Welcome to part two of our MRS Developer Studio tutorial series. In this episode, we'll show you how to configure CAN messages in MRS Developer Studio. If you missed part one, be sure to check that out too. All right, let's get started. First, you'll click Edit CANDB, which will bring you to this window where we can define the CAN messages and CAN data points. At the top, we have the CAN telegrams or messages, and at the bottom, we have the CAN data points. If you hover over each of these fields, you can see the description for each one. The first step to creating a CAN message is giving it a name. We can enter that here. This name is important for the CAN data point configurations later because it will refer to the CAN ID associated with this name. Next, we'll add the CAN ID. If you are adding to an existing CAN network, you'll need to enter the proper CAN ID for the message you want to send or receive. However, if this is a new system, you can choose your own CAN ID. And if your CAN ID is extended, you would enter that in this box here. We can enter the sending periods here. This value is in milliseconds. So we'll set the maximum to 500 milliseconds and the minimum to 400. The maximum time is the max time that the value won't change. The minimum time is the value of the fastest sending time when the message changes. All right, so here we can select the data length of the CAN data point, which will be eight for this example. And next we'll decide if it is sending a message or receiving a message. Zero is receiving and one is sending. For this project, we'll be sending a message, so we'll set it to one. And for this example, we will not be needing a CAN ID mask, but this box here is where you would enter that value. And next, we will need to set the data points in the table below. We'll call this variable temp1, then enter the CAN block name we defined earlier. Here are the bit positions. The first bit start should be zero, and the bit length for this example will be eight. Then we can define our next message. Same thing again here, but for the bit start, we'll want to enter something different because we're sending a different message, and we don't want that message to interfere with the first message. If the bit start is the same, you'll get an error. Now to set up a receiving CAN message, let's say like a switch, we'll have to use a different CAN ID. Uh, for this, we'll go with 200. Since we're setting up a receiving message, we don't need to enter any information for the sending period. We'll keep that as zero. Remember, zero is for receiving and one is for sending. Okay, so now we can create some data points to refer to. We'll call this one switch one. And same thing here, we'll enter the name of the CAN message we're referring to. The bit start is zero and the length will be one. The next one will be switch two, starting at one and the bit length will also be 1. All right, so take a second and check everything once more. Make sure it all looks good, and go ahead and close this window. If there are no errors and it closes, then everything is good to go. All right, that's all for this one. Be sure to check out our other tutorial videos, and give this video a like if it helped you out. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. You can reach us at info at mrs-electronics.com. Thanks for watching.